An incentivized testnet is a program, often gamified, where external validators, developers, and other users are encouraged to participate in testing a blockchain network in return for rewards. Given that proof-of-stake consensus mechanisms are dependent on a network of validators, this presents two key challenges for projects when launching their network. Nodes can be costly and they take meaningful skill and effort to maintain. In-house testing has minimal value if the network is dependent on a set of decentralized stakeholders performing consensus. Consequently, this trend has contributed to the rise of incentivized testnets. Cosmos was the first to present this concept with their Game of Stakes program, and this was a solution to gain exposure and also build a community while also testing their network in a decentralized and risk-mitigated manner before officially launching their core functionalities. So how does a project benefit from the ITN, you may ask? Well, for one, it helps to bootstrap a network of node operators to help guarantee network stability at the time of launch. So for example, experienced node operators will perform operations for the testnet in return for an allocation when the project goes live, but also to become a main contributor. Nine times out of 10, they'll continue their operations for future benefits. And for two, it helps to simulate a decentralized network and test that underlying infrastructure in a real world environment. This helps to identify any bugs or any other issues within the network before going live. Since node operations require time, money, and the know-how, the core team allocates rewards most commonly in the form of the protocol's native token to incentivize participants, the testers. There are a few ITNs that are live right now, including T-Protocol that we'll go over in a later video, but the more popular one is Barachain. Barachain's Arshio testnet is live, and today I'm going to show you step-by-step -step what you can do to potentially acquire an allocation of the Barachain airdrop. Ooga booga, let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Hey, what's up, guys? Thank you for tuning in and welcome back to another Airdrop Alpha video by the Crypto Remora. My name is Wes. If this is your first time checking us out, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, like, share, all that good stuff. We appreciate you guys for being here. And today we're going to be going over Barachain. Barachain is an L1 modular blockchain, EVM compatible, powered by proof of liquidity and built with this Cosmos SDK. All right. Here's the thing, guys. I've tried to create this video so many times. The network is so congested. Everybody's trying to jump on this at the last minute that it's been hard for me to, to actually create a step-by-step -step tutorial. So I'm going to put together what I can with the different dApps that are on here. But before I get into all that, I just want to kind of do a basic introduction of how to do this and, uh, and position yourself to get the airdrop, okay? So first and foremost... Uh, again, thank you guys for being here. Make sure you're doing your own research on these projects. You can go to barachain.com. They have their docs. Very cool website. Up only, as you can see. You don't scroll down. You scroll up, up only. Uh, a quick background. This was an NFT project originally, and the NFT project took off, and here we are. These guys are, you know, they, they've built the EVM compatible chain. Really cool. Uh, very cool concept. And uh, hats off to these guys over here building and making this making this happen. So the first thing you're going to want to do is obviously you're going to want to go to the landing page, the official landing page of the project. And that's going to be barachain.com, as you can see right here in the address bar, B-E-R-A-C-H-A-I-N. And like always, guys, we want to do everything from the landing page to stay safe and to make sure that we're clicking the official links of the project and going to the right D apps and doing everything we're supposed to do and, and uh, staying out of trouble, right? Uh, so go to the landing page. As you can see, really cool interface is absolutely incredible. I love everything about this. And at the bottom right, you will see a, it looks like a faucet. It's like a little, I don't know, a little faucet sink thing. And uh, you'll see the little drip. That's where you're gonna get your drip tokens that's where you're going to get your testnet funds from okay so you're going to want to click there i'm going to show you what that looks like right here it's going to pull up this website and all you're going to do is just copy and paste your wallet address 
they give you 0.1 test nets every eight hours, as you can see. Yeah, it says it right here. 0.1 test net tokens every eight hours. So I think they do this for for a, a pretty important reason. You know, a lot of a lot of test nets they'll give you like a thousand dollars worth of test net tokens, and then everybody just goes to the website and to the D apps. For, they'll spend like an hour one time and uh, and do everything that they think they need to do. I believe Barachain kind of set this up to where you have to come back every so often to interact with the platform. That way they can have efficient, you know, testing. They need to have legitimate testing to make sure um, everything's good before mainnet launch. Here, I'll scroll up for you. It is super dope, dude. These guys put this together pretty cool. Um but yeah, you can see all the backers right here. Dow5, uh, Tribe Capital, Citizen X, uh, Shima Capital, Polychain Capital, Hack VC. A lot of big names, dude. There's a lot of big backers right here. And uh, scroll up. These are going to be the dApps as soon as the main net goes live. And then right here, you know, you got a bear and a UFO. Like, why not? That's cool. Love it. Uh, scroll up. These are the main D apps right here. The Bex, BGT, and the Honey. The Bex is going to be their decentralized exchange. Uh, that's where you're going to go swap your tokens. You're going to provide liquidity there. Uh, and you're going to swap into... I'll show this in one of the clips, but you'll swap. You'll get the Bear token. Take the Bear token. Swap that into STG USDC. Then you're going to go to the Honey link right here. And then you're going to use the STG, STG USDC to mint their stable coin, which is Honey. And you're going to stake the Honey on that platform. And you'll see where to do it in, in the clip that I share. Uh, so that is one of the things you're going to want to do. If you want to read any documents, anything about the, the project is going to be right here on the landing page. These are some of the NFTs that they did here. And, uh, you know, yeah, this is the Discord link. The Discord's cool because this is the test net, and there is a section in there where you can uh, let these guys know, hey, I'm, I'm having a bug here, and uh, the transaction's not going through, or the uh, the funds aren't showing up like they should be. I'm swapping $20 worth of Barra into you know $20 worth of ETH, but it's only showing up point. 20 cents like right so anything you do like that share it in the discord they got their telegram the open sea for the nfts uh their twitter account their x account and um whatever whatever else you need github and all that good stuff if you want to go through there always do your own research all right let's move on to the d apps once you get your testnet funds, we're going to go over here to the RCO BEX. This is their decentralized exchange, and this is where you're going to be able to swap. You're going to be able to add liquidity to the pools and all that fun stuff. So make sure you are connected and just click on the swap tokens here. That's going to bring up their swapper. You can select the Barra. You'll have the Barra in your wallet. I have a little bit more because I've been stacking up for the video. So I have 0.29 bear up. And what I want to do here is the next thing I'm going to want to do is mint some honey, which is their, their stable coin is the honey. So I want to swap some bear into the S STG USDC. If it doesn't add up, don't sweat it. I mean, they still have a lot to go. This is what these test nets are for to find these bugs, to find these different things like that. And, uh, and that's what, that's what it is. That's our job to test it, to find these bugs, and then we can go in their Discord and report any bugs or any issues that we're having. That's what this is for, okay? So uh, you're going to preview it. You're going to swap. Transaction success. So now we swapped our Barra token into the STG USDC token. Just go ahead and exit out of that, and then go to this pools tab here, all right? So right here, you got a STG, USDC, and Barra. You can add that here. And all you're going to do is you can do a single token or you can do multi-token. I think the easiest way to go is to do the single token, okay? Just click on the Barra token alone, and it'll go ahead and split that in half for you. So it'll go ahead and add the STG, USDC, and the Barra token. That, to me, I find the easiest route to go. Just put your amount in, whatever you want to supply. And we'll do 0 0.01, which is not a lot. 
And as you can see, it says 328 here, but $1.63 there. So again, it is off. That's what these tests are for. And, uh, and that's what we're doing. Just add the liquidity, confirm it in your wallet. And essentially all we're trying to do is interact with these smart contracts. That's all we're trying to do. The more we provide, the more liquidity we provide, the more we interact with the, the smart contracts, probably the more allocation that we'll get from the airdrop. All right, transaction confirmed. Now, we're going to go over here to our show.honey.bearchain. We're just going to mint some honey with the STG USDC. So go ahead and make sure you are connecting your wallet up here at the top right. All right, so I have 0.84 STG USDC. I'm just going to hit max. It's going to bring up how much honey I'm going to do. I'm going to hit mint. Confirm the transaction. Transaction success. All right, so what we've done about three, four transactions so far. So we're on a good roll here. I find the best time to do this is late at night or very early in the morning when uh, people aren't as active, okay? All right, so after we have gotten our bear chain faucet tokens, we swap that into uh stg usdc we went to the honey minted the honey with the stg usdc we also provided a one-sided pool on the bex which we did bear a token and that gave us the pool so we added liquidity and then now we're going to move on to the uh to bend which is their lending and borrowing protocol so we minted the honey now we're just going to go over here and supply the honey all right so after we have supplied our honey, there's obviously there's other things you can do too, okay? If you go back to the home page and no, it's the faucet. If you go to the faucet and you scroll down a little bit, you'll see that there's this honey jar faucet right there. Sometimes it uh, is not available. Sometimes they're, they're updating it. So all see right here, it says maintenance notice. Faucet is currently undergoing maintenance. Please check back later. If that's what it says, then that is fine. Go over here to the mint tab. Connect your wallet. I'm going to mint with honey. You can choose Barra or honey. This is just, again, this is just another way to interact with a smart contract. All right, so it just wait for that to come up. When it hit, when it switches to mint, it just needs to run and do its thing. When it switches to mint, go ahead and mint one. I do think that uh, this is something that could be, you know, a multiplier. Maybe I'm not sure. There's no guarantees for this, but uh, I do think this. Uh, you should definitely do it. If anything, you're interacting with the smart contract, so why not, right? And then if you click over here, they have different quests that you can do. Uh, I do recommend doing that. Pretty easy stuff, nothing crazy. So uh, I would highly recommend doing those. You get different badges uh, for doing these quests. And then again, I, I will take you back to the home page. And if you look down here at the bottom right, you can view the quest. And all this is just a link to the galaxy. So I'll show you what that looks like. You go to the galaxy, and uh, and this is the link that pops up. And it's pretty simple. A lot of this stuff is pretty easy. So these these are pretty relevant. I think that uh, they take in this into consideration. They'll give you multiplier points. And I think that kind of ups your allocation for the airdrop. Uh, and this is just uh, you know a daily check-in. All you're doing is just checking in daily. This is kind of the onboarding, follow on Twitter, retweet. And that's essentially, it looks like that's it. Maybe some other ones pop up after you do it. I don't have my wallet connected, but... Essentially, pretty pretty easy, it looks like. Maybe they'll have some other ones pop up, uh, you know, a little bit later on. But I do think this is time sensitive. I do think it's around the corner, not too much longer. Obviously, they have a lot of stuff to work out. But uh, I am keeping an eye on this, and I do think it's worth 20 minutes of your time and maybe a few times, maybe once or twice a week uh, until they actually announce the airdrop. So, guys, I hope you found some value in this video good luck with the farming uh be on the lookout for the t protocol one that is another test net incentivized test net one that i think is well worth your time very easy and i think it's going to be huge not, not a lot of people are talking about that one so that one's good and it's going to be time sensitive as well so i'm going to get that one out as soon as possible guys thank you so much for tuning in 
If you like the video, please share. And uh, make sure you're subscribed again. Make sure you're following us on all socials at the Crypto Romora. Follow Sierra at Sierra Crypto and myself at Crypto MacGyver. Ooga booga. Much love to you guys. Until next time, peace out. Thank you.